I spend a lot of time checking out laptops and giving you all my impressions of them. But there is one thing that can totally cause you to waste tons of money and not necessarily get the best bang for your buck. So what is that mistake? Let's find out. Almost. almost. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Good news, I'm not gonna make you wait until the very end of the video to give away that secret mistake. It's actually pretty simple, and it's a mistake that I myself have made a ton before I really started getting into all of this technology that I use for my YouTube channel. You would imagine that gives me some key pieces of advice in this regard. And the number one mistakes I see folks make is always buying new. That's it. That's the mistake. Yes, there is a ton of great new tech out there, but there is always great new tech on the horizon. It's a never ending cycle of development, hype, release, development, hype, release. But if you know what your requirements will lead you to, to need in your tech, you can save a ton of money by buying either certified refurbished or slightly used. The best part is you can save money regardless of what operating system you prefer. So today I'm gonna give you a few key options of places to look when you seek out your next laptop. And I bet you'll either be able to save a ton of money on your next laptop or get better specs than you would have originally been expecting for the same money. Easily my first place to go to save money is the Apple refurbished store. No Apple doesn't pay me to say that, but that is the place to go if you are looking for anything Apple related. They not only have a huge range of computer options, but they also have iPads, iPhones, watches, Apple TV. If Apple makes it, odds are there is a refurbished website in that store. One of the key benefits of buying on the refurbished website here is they treat it like it's brand new. You'll get the same return policy as if you were buying it new and can even purchase Apple Care for your MacBook if you really want to. What happens here behind the scenes is when people return or send products back to Apple, they will give the laptop a new shell, replace the battery, and they will make it look as if you purchased one from them brand new. What I'm gonna try to do, I'm really gonna try to not talk in too much hyperbole today. I mean, besides the whole number one laptop buying mistake business. But I think this is really awesome that a first party OEM does all of this themselves. But what we are really here to talk about are the numbers. That's what you're here for, right? You're not here for me to tell you how awesome it is. You wanna see some factual number crunching. And we will do that on what is my favorite laptop ever, the M1 MacBook Air. You can buy the base model of one of these bad boys brand new from Apple for $999, which even that by itself, I honestly think is still a pretty good deal for what you get. But refurbished, that base model is now $849, a cool $150 off brand new while still retaining all the good parts about buying it brand new. So that comes out to a 15% price reduction for doing nothing special. The only, if you were to look at a refurbished laptop and a new laptop right next to each other, the only differences would be, well, you wouldn't see any. The only difference you would see is the refurbished box will have a little thing that says refurbished on it. Let's say you wanted a little more oomph and a little more storage. You can find the higher end eight core GPU model with one terabyte of storage for $1649 brand new or $1399 refurbished. Again, whacking off another 15% right off the top. I love this. I never get sick about talking about it. Since I discovered the Apple refurbished store a few years ago, I direct all of my personal friends and family there anytime they ask me what kind of Apple computer they should buy. It's like my instant recommendation anymore. But let's say you aren't, okay, maybe you're not just an Apple fan. Maybe you're looking to expand your horizon and you want to find a more comprehensive list. Amazon also offers their renewed program. While all Amazon renewed products are not renovated or refurbished by Amazon themselves, they do have a certification process for their renewed suppliers. Amazon does state that these products might have minimal scratches or dents. They might be in generic boxes, but the products themselves will be as close to like new as they can get them. Also, just like Apple, there is a robust return policy for these renewed purchases, and it's actually kind of crazy here. On Amazon, you can return the laptop within 90 days of receipt or one year for a renewed premium product. I didn't actually know that, and the one year return policy kind of surprised me as I was researching this video, because that's a very long time to have something before sending it back like a year. That's a whole that's a whole lifetime in tech years, but it is. It's part of their renewed guarantee, so okay. That's pretty impressive. We're not just here to listen to Gary Blabberon. Let's again dig into the numbers. Now on Amazon Renewed, you are going to end up looking at slightly older laptops. But that's not always a bad thing. There are machines out there that are a few years old and have more than enough power if you are looking for schoolwork, working from home, or other administrative type tasks. For example, here, the Razer Blade 15 from a few years ago 
2018 for example, that is rocking the 8th generation i7 processor was originally $1599, which still in fact is $1599 if you buy that new from Amazon, but absolutely do not buy that laptop new. Don't spend that much money. There are so many better options out there for $1600. But on Renewed, you can get it for $1149, taking off a whopping 28%. Now, I'm not necessarily going to recommend that you buy this specific laptop. I'm just pointing out the money that you could potentially save finding your laptop that you're looking for on Amazon Renewed. There are a thousand laptops out there. I can't go through every single one today. This is just, again, an example of price that you could save. Of the services I'll be talking about today, you need to stay on your toes with Amazon Renewed. There are some great deals in there from everything from cell phones to lawnmowers, or we wouldn't be talking about them today. If there was no good things in there, we would not be talking about it, but there is a ton of outdated junk in there too. So it's kind of the higher risk reward option. Another major place that I wanna talk about today is another store that I've been using for years. Literally, I've been shopping here since around 2009, and that's the Dell Outlet. The Dell Outlet is actually what started me on the path to try to spend as little money as possible when buying my own personal technology. Here though, you will find something that is slightly different than Apple or Amazon. The Dell Outlet is full of overstock, refurbished, and returned items. So when you are buying, you'll have to pay attention to what kind of product you are actually purchasing. Just because you click on something that says, hey, it's refurbished, when you click, it opens up another menu that gives you lots of options. So just pay attention to what it says on the product page to know what you're getting. And this place has kind of evolved over the years. When I originally started shopping there, it was like its own website and you could find 50% off coupons all the time. I think I bought my first Alienware laptop for like 300 bucks once. Dang, I miss when the internet was younger. Either way, even today, this place is still an awesome area to go for sweet computer deals. Much like Apple and Amazon, it has a very robust 30-day return policy and the same limited hardware warranty as if you were to buy their laptops new, which knowing Dell and knowing their trackpad issues they have had on recent models makes me very happy that they are keeping up with those return policies. But back to the numbers, because again, it's all about the numbers. My favorite Dell laptop of recent memory is the Dell 9710 with the RTX 3050 graphics card. This is a straight up amazing computer that really shocked me for how good it can be. This is also a brand spanking new computer. Like we just pre-ordered and covered this not that long ago, like weeks ago, we were just talking about this laptop. Brand new, this will run you around $2,100. That's pretty darn expensive. That's pretty darn expensive for a laptop. That's pretty darn expensive for anything. But on the Dell Outlet, you can get it for as low as $1,743 or a slick 17% off retail price. For a month's old computer, and you can get all of that stuff for the same as if you bought it new. You'll still get the 8-core Intel i7, 512 gigabytes of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that gorgeous FHD Plus display. And I kind of wish... I kind of wish I was able to wait to purchase it until now to make videos on because while I thought it was worth buying at 2100, it's an insane deal for 1743. That's way less money the cost of a MacBook Pro 16 with so much more functionality. I'm serious fam, dang. I am jealous, I'm jealous, but I love finding these kind of deals. And I actually, you may think this is crazy. I spend time throughout the day looking up used deals on various websites. I am dead serious. I know that makes me sound crazy, crazier than I guess I normally come off as because I, who does that in their spare time? I do without any shame. I all the time I'm looking for used stuff. And the last place I want to talk about quickly is B&H Photo Video. Now they are a camera store that just so happens to sell all sorts of other stuff too, but they have a very, very robust used department. And I actually buy almost all of my camera equipment used from them. This camera is used, that camera was used, that camera was brand new, but my other camera was used too. So you can also save a lot of money used on laptops here too. Now, this will be a more sporadic option as they will not have the volume of computer traffic as other bigger computer brands do. But if you check in from time to time, you can save some real money. You will have to stay on top of this website to get the very best deals. But just from a quick perusing, you can easily get around 12% off of a laptop pretty consistently. I love, I love saving money, y'all. But at the end of the day, so what, right? Look, the number one mistake is to always assume you need to buy a brand new laptop. And that's just not the case. And I do. Look, here's another question I want to answer. I get a lot of questions here. Why do I always talk about saving money when I clearly buy a lot of new tech for the channel? But that's exactly it. I buy tech to show you all. But personally, I end up using the same things over and over again. And there was a time before I had a YouTube channel where I needed to buy 
all the new stuff. I always look for the best deal when I can. Unless you have a specific need for whatever is the latest and greatest, and legitimately, a lot of people do, there is no shame in that. If you don't though, you can save a ton of money if you buy used or refurbished. And as we've seen today, you can still get the latest and the greatest for far less if you can just wait a couple of weeks sometimes. So do a little research before your next purchase and you too can avoid making the number one laptop buying mistake. And if you like this video and you would like to see some of the products we talked about here today, here is my playlist covering the M1 MacBooks as they are probably the best value if you wanna go out and get something right now. And you can find it by clicking right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.